fetch me some ice She give me a pinch and save a buzz for my pillow Bolt me a bronze Talk to me now, she got to wine And the time I'm getting hungry Fill me a grave I'm Laura Bonicelli, and we are cooking with Italian style. It's not always fast, it's not always easy, and it's not always Italian. We use the freshest and finest ingredients that we can find and afford. We not only savor the meals we make, we savor making them. That is cooking with Italian style. Today, we're making a great dish to warm you up in the middle of winter or any time of year. It's my coconut curry soup with chicken. Let's get cooking. I've heated up a couple of tablespoons of canola oil in my pot, and to that I'm going to add one small onion and my tablespoon of ginger, which is already in there, and a couple of cloves of minced garlic, good-sized cloves. Now, I'm just going to stir this around. I don't want this heat too hot because I don't really want them browned. I just want them nice and soft, and I'm going to say that's going to take about eight minutes. And now I'm going to add in a tablespoon of my minced lemongrass, which smells very lemony. It's actually pretty tough to chop this stuff. It's quite a heavy stock. And I'm gonna let this go for a couple of minutes, just to soften it up. I'm gonna add in my chicken. I've turned the heat up a little bit. We are going to stir fry this for a minute. Not cook it all the way through, just get it started. Now this is when things start to get interesting. I'm adding a teaspoon of sambal, which is going to give it a lovely heat and smokiness. Sambal is another Asian food store item. Three tablespoons of curry powder. You can get that at any Asian store or Indian store. This is a half a teaspoon of paprika and a quarter teaspoon of turmeric. And now we'll stir this around and let it get nice and fragrant, take about 30 seconds to a minute. This smells fantastic. So I'm adding in now my coconut cream, which is basically a very thick coconut milk. You could use coconut milk. This is an 18.5 ounce can and four cups of homemade chicken stock. You can buy that at your butcher's if you don't make it yourself. Two tablespoons of fish sauce which is going to give it a lovely saltiness. A tablespoon of sugar. It's going to kind of add a little sweetness and kind of cut some of that saltiness. And then 12 kefir lime leaves that I have chopped up. And what I'm going to do now is stir this all together, bring it back up to a boil, and let it cook for five to seven minutes just to cook the chicken. And then, while that is happening, I'm going to make some Asian vermicelli noodles to put this over. The thing you really want to remember to do is take a pair of clean kitchen shears and cut through these glass noodles. They're long and really impossible to eat if you don't do this. It's kind of messy with the soup. So I'm just going to take some of these noodles and put them right into the bottom of my bowl, like that. And then over that, I'll ladle some of my beautiful curry-colored soup. So this is kind of gold and yellow. Okay, stop dripping. There we go, oh, I have to clean up that plate. This isn't a really thick soup, but it is very flavorful. Nice pieces of chicken there. Now, first I'll clean up my plate. Where I spilled a little bit, there we go. I'm gonna garnish the top with a little sprig of cilantro. And then on the side, I'm gonna serve it with a lime wedge just in case, maybe two, just in case someone wants to add a little liminess to those kefir lime leaves. Isn't that just gorgeous? If you want this recipe and more, go to solobybonicelli.com and click on the recipe button, or check me out on ifoodtv.com. I really hope you enjoy making my coconut curry soup with chicken and cooking with Italian style. Thank you Park Petit for the great wardrobe, and let's try this. Mm. Oh, it's so rich. It's fabulous. Bon appetito.